months after uh, surgery, you have a number of changes that take place, uh, all part of the normal reactive reparative process. These types of changes take place with most any trauma or injury, whether it be to skin surfaces or deeper. These changes are uh, induced by uh, a variety of factors that uh, act um, kind of in a cascade formation, in a cascade uh, manner. After injury, uh, there are uh, a number of different types of cells, some of them inflammatory cells, some of them cells such as fibroblasts, macrophages, lymphocytes, that are drawn to the area of injury uh, simply by the processes of injury to uh, blood vessels. Uh, blood vessels uh, have, have uh, cells in them that release products when they are injured, that draw these cells to, to the area, that institute then uh, reactive or reparative uh, processes. These involve uh, normal clotting mechanisms, uh, inflammatory processes to guard against uh, infections, uh, and uh, processes to uh, repair the damage that's been done. A lot of this is done by fibroblasts. Fibroblasts lay down uh, collagen and thereby uh, repair some of the damage that was done by an injury or more specifically in this case by surgery. Uh, now this is a good thing. You've ha you have to be able to repair the injury. However, uh, the tissue rep uh, uh, repaired isn't uh, the same as the natural tissue. It's predominantly collagen uh, it is more cellular than the, than the normal tissue because you now have all these other cells there that weren't there in the past. Uh, in the um, pre-injured tissue, uh, you have um, fibers other than collagen, particularly elastin, uh, is elastic. It allows movement a lot better than collagen is. 